This was at guard camp. Uh, Joeek and Don Knudsen and uh, Whiskey White were walking there. And there's Lloyd Stukia out checking the Delmar. That was one of the targets that we fired the rockets at. It's made out of fiberglass. It's towed behind the t bird about a mile and a half piano wire. And I think this was at Alpina. There was Ellington throwing a knife and stitch. He says, survived. A bunch of 102s came in, and at that time we were still flying 89s and didn't have the 102s yet, so it was a pretty big deal, so I'd have got to take some pictures of them. That was the Air Force's first line fighter back in 59, 58. And then some shots of us in the 89s doing some formation flying. was the last airplane we had that had uh, two seats. The radar observer sat in the back. And of course we got the 102s. We went to a single seat concept and didn't need the RO. It's not a particularly beautiful airplane in the air, but it did fly comfortably. And it was pretty easy to fly formation with, even though it did have two engines. I think I'm trying to do a formation roll here. Almost made it around. Then we had to do some water skiing at a little lake. Up by camp. I, I'm not sure if this is Knudsen's boat or if we scrounged up a boat there somewhere. but. We did end up with all the materials for water skiing. There's Knudsen again. These pictures are taken by my faithful radar observer who sometimes got a good shot of the sill that you'll see later, like right there. See the rockets slithering out of the tubes here if you look real close. 